Lucas, thanks for joining us. It's a real Hello. pleasure to have you on. And uh, we're talking about training yep. and analysis in training and yep. also going into games, how you like to do it. Now, yep. just wondering if you took back to when you first started, maybe at Arsenal or yep. then the difference now, how you feel it's become or evolved and changed in I mean, your time. Yeah, yeah, when it comes, I think, to analysis of the of the opposition, even uh, analysis of, of your position and what you're going to be, uh, for example, facing uh, in the next games, I think has changed a lot. I remember when I first uh, you know, joined Arsenal, <laughs> the analysis uh, mostly was just about the penalty takers, really. Mm -hmm. There was not much more to it. It was just just analysis of the of the of the possible penalty takers. Obviously, it, it kind of uh, developed a little bit more. But I believe, uh, you know, when I moved to Swansea, uh, and there was a Spanish goalkeeping coach, uh, Javi Garcia, and he was a, a like massive fanatic of of the analysis, and uh, he basically uh, tried to detail uh, every single player, possibly. Uh, that you're gonna be facing on, on the weekend, so, so it was very helpful, very useful. I, re I really liked it, and it's quite similar now with with Xavi, the way he works as well. He, he really focuses on on every possible detail that, that might help you in the game. First thing is to understand well what the manager and, uh, expects from the goalkeeper mm. on and off the ball, and then is our our job to design the training drills that fit that. Uh, that uh, objective, that, that purpose, taking into account what the goalkeeper can do before he comes to you. And if you need to change things, if you need to improve things, if you just need to keep things as they are. Uh, and just based on that, you develop your training sessions, you develop your training drills, and sometimes they need to be very like uh, uh, individual. And just looking at uh, different things off the off the training ground yeah. itself, the machines or yeah. any particular. Uh, I've used the the reaction boards, yeah. the, the the lights. Yeah. And... We, we use the neuro tracker. Okay. I don't know, I don't know if you've used it. You've no, tried what's it. What's the neuro tracker? The neuro tracker is, is something. I think it comes actually from from the the American football. But it's uh, you you basically sit in a in a room. You watch like a massive screen. On on this screen, you got eight balls. At the start of it. Four of them, uh, they change the color. Okay. Then they disappear, and then they start to basically mix. And uh, and after that, you just have to point again at the at the four balls that that uh, had different color at the start of it. Yeah. So so uh, it kind of uh, I think it develops uh, your. I always struggle with this word peripheral, peripheral vision. How do you say it? Peripheral. 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 Yeah. I can't say. Either. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it should develop that. So we, you're saying about the um, analysing each goalkeeper yeah. and what they need. What would you use for that? Would you use the videos from training, the videos yeah. from game, or <clears throat> statistics? Which which part do you think, or is it all the parts play an important role? I think it's all the parts. I think obviously every team in the Premier League we have all the all the cameras in the training ground. You can analyse every training session if you need to do it. You can analyse. Uh, uh, the same game from multiple uh, uh, points of view, from the TV angle, from the wide angle, from the goalkeeping camera angle. So you can go as far as you want in terms of uh, points of view. And Greenwood has hit the outside of the post. Fabianski having applied an outstanding outstretched finger. With Xavi, it's not like we look at it uh, after each game, probably we'll look at uh, you know, the safe percentage, the, the expected goals, or all the little things, so, you know, goals outside the box, goals, goals inside the box. Uh, so, so he always does this meeting as well when, when we just go through statistics. He says he doesn't really pay too much attention to it, mm. but he says it's nice to look at it because cause in, uh, in some way it, it kind of it pushes you. Numbers were quite a big thing for me, so yeah, I'd yeah. say how many clean sheets this yeah, yeah, year, let's yeah, go yeah. For, if that works for you. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does. Yeah. I, it, I think it's always uh, good to have like little targets. Yeah. Uh, and for me, clean sheets is one thing, but, but I really like the, the, the safe percentage as well. OK. Uh, so that, that, that's what I like. I always like to be above uh, 70. Uh, if I oh, can. you have a number as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like uh, 70. Yeah. It's, it's really, I think it's, it's very, yeah, okay. it's very yeah. good number. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, something above 75 to 80 is like, it's really good. It's okay. really good. Yeah. Football has been always a very popular game, 
but is being quite uh, reluctant to uh, to incorporate uh, uh, knowledge from outside. Yes. Now we are using technology to improve the 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 ability of the players or the goalkeepers to see quicker, to perceive quicker, so you can make the you can receive the information quicker. And information in football is through through the eyes, through your vision. And vision can be trained. Mm. But other disciplines, you go to Formula One, you go to uh, other sports, even hockey, ice hockey, they've been using these things many years ago. We are just kind of stealing these things from yeah. other disciplines mm. uh, and they work. Kevin, thank you so much for letting us come in. It's been a great morning. It's dry, sunny, wonderful warm day. We've <coughs> learned a lot. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for you too, uh, for coming and, and, and sharing this time with me. Thank you. Thank you.